I think uh, someone who should have gotten a vote was J.R. Smith. And, and you both are going <laughs> to laugh at me, but J.R. Smith was the only player in the series that kept both teams in every game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if the, you think about utility, it. Yeah, the, the utility, the great equalizer of NBA Finals MVP, right? Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're looking at it, that's why. I, and I would ask both of you. MVP is sort of an outmoded kind of award anyway. Yeah. Best player. Well, you, if you said best player, it's got to be LeBron James. Most valuable right. player. Now you got to start thinking of your own definition of is Iguodala the most valuable because he came off the bench and became a starter and he, he held LeBron to 40 points a game <laughs> and was right. a great defensive player. Uh, and, and I'm not giving enough credit. He made LeBron work for his shots. But... Should we get rid of MVP? Should the well, MVP be outlawed in baseball, in all the other sports, and just say most the, outstanding player? Most outstanding player. Well, hockey actually has two different awards. They have the Hart Trophy, which is given to the most valuable player, and then they have the Ted Lindsay Award, which is given to the most outstanding player. So I think that there is a notable distinction, like you said. I mean, most valuable can mean a lot of different things. And it means different things to different people. That's the 7-4 the, the split. And what actually surprised me most was Steph Curry didn't even get a single vote for MVP. I mean, I thought he was by far the best player on the Golden State Warriors. And for him not to get a single vote at all was a little bit surprising. So without a doubt, yeah, I think either there needs to be a consensus or some type of definition around what the word valuable means or you know, just call it what it is as being the most outstanding player. I, I think you take it away from the media and you give it to the fans because they, oh, they stop. know. Now you're being silly. <laughs> I've seen it in baseball with Trout and Cabrera when I was still voting for MVP. And Trout was baseball statistically by every measure, every metric was the most valuable player. But uh, Miguel Cabrera won a triple crown. And the historical significance of that overruled with traditional base rider, uh, baseball writers the season by Trout. I mean, even though clearly Trout had a better year, but he wasn't deemed most valuable. And I look at the basketball thing with this series. What I heard writers talking about when I'm listening to radio throughout was the fact that it didn't go to a seventh game. Had it gone to a seventh game and Cleveland loses by four or five, do you think LeBron would have won? You know, that, that's that's a good question. I'm. I think that it would have taken a pretty big game from LeBron and a bad game from everybody else okay. for a seventh game in order for to happen. I mean, like we, like you said, I think the media wants to give it to the winner, and there's some there's some reasoning behind that, right? I mean, it's hard to be the most valuable and not be still the winner, so I think right. intuitively that makes some sense. So no, I don't. I think that if if LeBron didn't get it in Game Six. The only way he would have gotten it is if he won Game 7. I don't think losing by 1 point, 4 points, or 20 points in Game 7 would have made much difference.